Time for the mix. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to start. We're going to start with my favorite story uh, of, of the mix tonight. And you know, it's my favorite story because sometimes you just got to get out of your comfort zone and just sort of do what you got to do to make other yeah. people feel comfortable. And if those other people are kids, your own kids, your niece, your nephew, yeah. why not? All right? Absolutely. I have 13 nieces and nephews, so I've done wow. a lot of crazy things. So you get it. I get it. I totally get it. And so there's these two guys, uh, two separate stories. There's one uh, father, dad in the UK, who dressed up as as Elsa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, because which kid this day and age does not love Frozen, <laughs> right? And uh, it was all to make uh, his little one there comfortable. Mm. And then this other picture here. Oh, uh, no, that's still Elsa. Here we go. Cinderella. Look at that. They were off to Cinderella, and she was a little afraid of wearing her outfit. So her that uncle there. Oh, the uncle. That's, that's an the interesting uncle. Cinderella. That's the uncle. Uh, I mean, I've never seen Cinderella with tattoos. This is a new take. But, you know, well, it's 2015, number one, but number oh, two. You're right. It's you're about right. making her feel comfortable, you know? And you know what? He, it's beautiful. You're absolutely right. If he's grown and tattoos and he feels comfortable. It's, I think it's beautiful. And it's wonderful because it's a, yeah, to see uncles and, and nieces and daddies and daughters. What a great effort. Yeah. I, I, I would. I don't know if I dress as Cinderella, but I would do something like that to help my nieces. I and think it takes a real man to dress up like that <laughs> and to feel confident and come forward. I agree. I, I applaud that. <laughs> beer is a big thing, right? People are really into their beers. Uh, who doesn't like beer? But can you, are you, could you be really into your beer that you'd send it up the yeast up into space and bring it down to see? what effect it would have. This actually happened. A company, the Oregon Brewing Company, will actually sell ground control. It's a beer that's made from yeast that they brought into space. They tried this twice. It worked on the second go round and they sent it up to space and it's going to go on sale April 13th. It took two years of research, two separate launches, and eventually they had a successful launch in October of 2014. And it took place at the Spaceport America in New Mexico. So look out for this beer. Yeah, my question about this, which we don't know the answer, is does it taste differently? What does I was wondering the same thing. You have to I, drink less of it to feel a little, you know. What's the, the special mystique <laughs> with space beer, right? I would like to know. Uh, all right, have you ever had your paper stolen from your front door, your front stoop? Not recently, no. No. Well, if it has happened to you at any point, you'd know yes. that you would hate it, right? Yeah. And uh, so there's a California man who kept having his Wall Street journal for more than 10 years being stolen from his... 10 years? 10 years, a decade, He didn't call right? the cops? Well, he decided to get a camera, puts oh, a camera out. smart. And uh, records it, finds the guy, and then leaves the guy a letter telling the guy that uh, if he... Uh, in the letter, he says he installed the video surveillance, and uh, if he wants to borrow it, he can, but uh, oh. he needs to leave him stock tips if he's taking the Wall Street journal. Yeah. Yep. 